we need to know our names and history. I never knew of Walk on Teepee when I actually got to see this place. I wasn't prepared or really informed of what we were going to do and what we were going to actually come in contact with. So when we actually arrived there, wow, something about the place seemed a lot more closer to, I don't know, maybe it, the trip there made it seem like it was, like I was riding home. And from that experience, just having, having that feeling like, oh, I'm going home. It really felt like, wow, this is, I feel like this might be the highlight of my day. And I just know it's going to be. But in fact, I knew it was something a lot more larger than that, a lot more bigger and meaningful to me than that. And that was that it was probably going to be a highlight ever in my life. That I was ever, that I was ever going to even visit something I never got the opportunity to experience when I was in public school. So the the experience I got from this, it was very spiritually and lift. It lifted me when I actually got to go there, and then I was listening to what Jim Rock was saying about this place, and to be honest. I was pregnant at the time, and I still am, and I really felt like I understood what he was talking about because what he was saying, you can feel it in the area if you understand what I'm talking about, and I did. You're at the place of the ancestors, and they were, they were put in here to rest and sleep. You know, we come from our Mother Earth, we go back to our Mother Earth. We come from Sky Father, we go back to our Father Sky, too, the, from the stars. Um, so when, when you, you know, when a lady is going to have a baby, when she's pregnant, her belly is kind of round like that, right? We all came from inside our mom's belly. Well, when I see these, these rounded mounds here, this is how we were put back into the earth. We come from our mother, we go back to our mother. How sacred Walk on Teepee is to the Dakota people that lived here a long time ago before any corruption or anything bad or European influences have impacted Mountain View. Well, Walk on Teepee originally was used was sacred for for the Dakota people in this area was that this was not only a place were that was good, that was to be the final resting place for for an Indian when they died. It was also a place. It, w it was also believed that that's also where they were born. And hearing that the caves even below it, even below the mountains, is actually where they would uh, go, where an Indian woman, pregnant Indian woman, would actually go and have their children. And and a lot of significance with pregnancy to that place is very, very, very closely related. In a way, the place is seen like the mounds is like where, <laughs> where the child is, I guess. And there's, there, there's said to actually have been an underground river that used to run through for that used to run underneath it a lake no oh, a lake and and in a way how that is similar to pregnancy is that during pre during pregnancy there's water in there keeping the child afloat and everything and keeping the keep pretty much supporting the child while it's inside, while it's in, while they're while they are inside their mother. This whole thing was <laughs> it felt like an experience I I really wish I could have had a long time ago when I was in school, 
and in school back when I was a little girl we never got to we never got to visit any of these sacred sites Dakota or Ojibwe and I really wish I got the chance to do that and that would have probably prepared me for for a lot for the the experience I just got from coming to this one sacred site that I've never even known about and even though it's a Dakota sacred site and uh, even though it's a Dakota sacred site and I'm an Ojibwe it's it's does it make no difference I'm from this area I'm, this place all my life has been my home and this place Minneapolis and St. Paul have been my home and not even being fully aware of the area or anything sacred about who I am as a person who I am as a Native American living here in the in the Twin Cities and having been born here and raised here and I'm planning on actually staying here. I don't really want to move out of, move out of the cities because I, I really want to get to know be more familiar with just the area of which I come from. 